Okay. Alright guys, uh, supposedly, natutulog na ako ngayon, pero dahil tulad ng isang ina, kailang gampanan ko talaga kung ano yung role ko dito. And this also the reason why nandito ako ngayon para i-clarify o kaya para i-stop na kung ano yung dapat i-stop. So, and since na nakapagbitaw ako ng live video last night before I went out kasama ko si Cloney, I know na marami rin nasaktan kung ano man yung nasabi ko. Kasi, of course, yun, kailangan ilabas ko na rin finally kung ano yung nararamdaman ko. After how many days na bigla akong nawala. Kung bakit ako biglang nanahimik. At kung bakit biglang nagkagulo ng ganito. Okay? So, I just want to clarify something here. Kung bakit kami nagkabalikan ni Cloney. Since December 27, as you have seen before, di ba? In the middle of my live show, nabanggit ko na, sana, before we can have our new year, sana lahat ng mga sigalot matapos na. Yun ang nabitawan ko noon. And that was the reason why I made a decision na humingi ng tawad o kaya ay biglang mag-ask ng apology kay Cloney, most especially. Kasi alam ko na siya yung, siya yung nasaktan. And just like I said, the reason why I was here because ang sarap nga naman kasi yung feeling na andito ako bilang ina. And I even considered my Mystica, Mystica Temple as my own house, di ba? Kaya sabi ko noon, kung sino yung mga gustong sumali para magiging kapamilya ko, and then I said, everybody is welcome. So of course, ang sarap ng feeling, when I realized na nung nag-start na akong nag-live, and then of course, marami ring naaliw, marami yung naging bahagi ng buhay ko, sinuportahan ako while I was doing my job. And that included Christine. Tapos si Cloney. And of course, si Lorna. So, kung inaakala man ng mga iba na ang mga ito ay pumasok sa buhay ko dahil gusto lang nilang magkaroon ng attention or whatever, well, gusto kong i-clarify na by that time, laging si Lord na ang binabanggit ko because okay lang sa kanya kahit anong sabi ng mga tao. Okay lang na ma-mention ko. And then I really appreciated that. Kasi ako naman yung tao kasi na if ever na may nagbigay sa akin ng attention o kaya nagbigay sa akin ng suporta, ang reason why I was posting everything because I wanted to give my appreciation. Kahit Kentucky Fried Chicken lang galing kay Mimi Jones o kay, kay Darling Jimenez before. See? Kailangan I had to post everything kasi yun naman ay aking decision na para lang talaga maipahiwating naman sa inyo na wow, napakaliit na bagay but Mystica really appreciated. Kahit sino nagbigay sa akin ng tulong noon especially sa aking anak tapos especially noong ako'y nabigyan ng pagkakataon para magkaroon ng tirahan and that's when it started when Dovi came into my life and then so happened kasi na dahil din sa nangyari na lumabas about yung kung ano naging issue and then na-exaggerate and then of course everything just went out in control okay But, the fact na nagkaayusan na kami, so I thought it was okay na yon. I thought wala nang darating na intriga. 
And then so happen na dumating si Cloney at the same time dumating din si Christine. Pareho sila na ayaw daw ibanggit kung sino sila. Well, that's fine. And I really I really appreciated the fact na they gave all the support from their hearts. At kung anong ni-request nila na huwag ko na lang daw ibanggit dahil yung pagtulong nila those were coming from their hearts. And that was the reason why. Sabi ko, wow, that's very good. So yung kung sino man yung nagsasabi na ah, gusto lang nilang sumikat, gusto lang nilang magpaano ganon, no. Ako na mismo magka-clarify. Kaya, kung ano man yung mga nabanggit kay Christine na mga, of course, na-exaggerate na, di ba? Kung ano man yung mga nabanggit ko na sa kanya after na nagkagulo-gulo na, well, ako na mismo magsasabing, I'm sorry. And that was also the reason why nag stop na rin ako because I knew na noong dumating ulit si Cloney sa buhay ko. And that's when I realized na I thought it was gonna be over. Kasi I know naman na kung ano yung ginawa ni na chill at kung sino-sinong pang mga sumuporta, most especially kay Jill, lahat ng mga yon ay na-appreciate ko. And that was also the reason why sinabi ko noon, nung nag-ask ako ng apology kay, kay Cloney, that was December 27, na I said, kung meron man sana akong gustong maging kaibigan, ay isang chill. Dahil yung ginawa niya kay Cloney, hindi mababayaran ng kahit magkanong salapi. Dahil sa pagtatanggol ko ni Chill, nakalimutan ko. Nakalimutan ko kung ano man yung ibinabato sa akin. Basta, ifinocus ko sa kanilang dalawa. Na kung nagkaroon man ako ng kaibigan, I wish that would be Chill. At ngayon nakita ko ulit. Kung sino yung nagtanggol kay Lorna because nakita ko na nandyan si Christine because she told me na ang dahilan kung bakit pumanig siya kay Lorna because she know na I hurt Lorna as well. Hindi ko pinagkakaila na bilang ina masakit din sa akin yung kung ano man yung namagitan between Cloney and Lorna. And just like I said, dapat nandun lang ako sa gitna. And it so happened na ang pagkakamali ko at that time, instead na nasa gitna ako, nandun ako sa kabila. Without thinking kung ano rin ang magiging kahihinatnan yung decision ko at that time. And that was the reason why I hurt Cloney. So right after that, I understand kung bakit nagalit si Lorna. Because as soon as I said, Cloney and Chill, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Kung ano man yung mga masasakit kong nasabi on live, sabi ko, pinagsisihan ko yon, Kasi itinuring ko rin kayong mga anak ko. Ngayon, kung nasaktan ko rin si Lorna at that time, well, just like what I've already told her, sinabi ko, I'm sorry, please forgive me. So dahil nga sa, akala ko okay na at that time kung ano man yung mga nangyari, pero siguro hindi nakuha agad kung ano yung point ko kung bakit ako nag-sorry. So, of course, I understand that. Kasi marami na rin kayong pinagsamahan ng mga anak ko. And that was also the reason why ipinagtanggol niyo si Cloney. Because pinakita niyo na mahal na mahal niyo siya. And bilang kaibigan, ipinakita niyo sa kanya kung paano kayo naging kaibigan. And I really appreciate that. So ngayon, 
Because nobody understood kung bakit kami nagkabalikan ni Cloney. Siguro na misunderstand lang at that time kung bakit nagkaroon kami ng agwat. But I don't have to explain further, okay? Ang importante para sa akin, nagsorry na ako kay Cloney. And once again, I would say, sorry to Lorna, okay? Hindi ko nagampanan yung pagiging ina ko at hindi ko na gampanan yung pagiging kapatid ko kay Lorna dahil hindi ko binalanse eh dapat nandun lang ako sa gitna so it was my mistake I have decided to just go all the way with Lorna kung nagsorry man ako kay Cloney that was because that was my full decision na sana before mag new year I wanted na kung ano yung nagiging sigalot namin and it will just end. And uh, very, unf ano, it, it was very fortunate na bago nag-12 o'clock, bago nag-12 o'clock ng New Year's Eve, merong naging anghel na hindi ko kilala kung sino yun, pero this is one of Cloney's friends. At sinabi niya na, total mag New Year naman. Why do you just make up with Cloney? Okay. So, ang akala ko naman at that time, well, I'll take this chance na since meron namang iba na tao na gustong pag-ayusin kami, then I did the move. So what I did is tinawagan ko si Cloney. And I was so lucky na kung ano yung expectation ko at that time, na akala ko hindi niya ako patatawarin. And then, she happened to forgive me. Hindi ko inexpect Hindi ko inexpect na ang isang tao na nasaktan ko ang damdamin ay trinato pa rin niya ako bilang ina. At hindi ko rin inexpect na after all what I have said napatawad pa rin niya ako. And that was also the reason why kung napatawad ako ng isang tao na itinuring kong sarili kong anak at siya rin ang nagiging dahilan kung bakit pinagkaisahan ako ng mga tao na katulad ng mga nagtanggol sa kanya. Most especially, sina, kung sino yung mga admin doon. Well, That was the reason why, bakit kailangan itago? Bakit kailangan i-stop? Na magkaroon kami ng freedom to be with each other? Well, in fact, okay na kami. So, bakit hindi pa pwedeng ipa-stop kung sino-sino yung mga against me? Dahil yun naman ang naging dahilan noon kung bakit. Na i-open yun because they wanted to protect her and they wanted to show their care about her. Okay, so, Christine, sabi niya meron daw siyang flight. Okay. So, happy flight. <laughs> All right, Take a nice flight, my dear Christine. Okay. Alam ko na uh, malilate ka na. So, you can always get back to here later on. Okay. So, thank you very much. Dahil din sa uh, pagtawag mo rin sa akin, then of course, you know, bilang isang ina, hindi naman ako pwedeng forever na pananahitilihin kung ano yung nagiging grudge namin. So, anyway, sabihin ko na lang kay Christine na, okay, have a, a nice flight, and maraming salamat for everything, okay? So, uh, alright, sabi niya, punta mo dyan sa inyo para me, meet ko ang baby mo na sobrang generous. <laughs> Alright. 
So anyway, so ganun nga ang nangyari because just for this sake na nagkaroon naman kami ng pagsasama, di ba? Because I've treated everybody as my own daughters, my own son, kung sino man yung involved dito. And uh, by the way, um, dahil hindi ko naman pala sila nakausap lahat eh, the only person na I have talked to was, of course, Cloney, and of course, Christine, and Jill, Jill Cruz, okay. So talking to Jill Cruz, I was really very amazed kasi siya naman yung tao na nakita ko na I know na if you feel for somebody that you care, natural gagawin mo ang lahat and I really appreciated that. Okay, so unblock ko daw si Terry. Sure, darling. Okay, unblock ko si Terry. Okay. So yun nga, okay. Alright, talking about Terry. Well, Terry knows na tinuring ko rin siya. As a matter of fact, siya yung una kong na live noon, di ba? She was my first topic noon. Because when I said na everybody is welcome kung ano yung mga gusto niyong italakay, and of course, it was Lorna then. So, it was Terry, kung isa rin yung mga anak ko talaga noon, na talagang itinuring ko rin talagang anak ko. Because naging parte rin siya sa buhay ko. So anyway, I am I am unblocking everybody kung sino man yung mga na-block ko dito, okay? Because I want everybody to be back to my life now, to be back to my Mystica Temple, kahit hindi na Mystica Temple ang tawag dito. All right, isa-isahin ko na silang i-unblock. And I'm sorry if I had to block you kasi magmula noong noong sinabi ko na I'm going to put everything here para magkaroon ako ng mga evidence or whatever. And then, I'm sorry kung na-block ko rin kayo. But, bilang ina, napakadali ko naman talagang intindihin lahat eh. You don't need to ask for an apology or whatever. Bilang ina, ako na mismo mag-aask. Dahil, in every sigalot, may pinagmulan. Okay? And just like I said, hindi naman siguro magkaroon ng alitan between Cloney and Lorna kung nandoon ako sa gitna lang. And I made the decision na isa lang yung pinanigan ko and then kinalimutan ko na yung isa. Kaya nga sabi ko kay Cloney, alam mo, kung hindi nangyari yon, I am sure na hindi rin tayo nagkaroon ng sigalot. Kasi I am sure na if I made the right decision at that moment, hindi umabot sa ganito. At hindi rin siguro ako nakapagsalita ng mga things against you. Pero, on the other, on the other side, sabi ko, siguro this was meant to be para makilala ko rin ang isang katulad mo. Because everybody doesn't know who Cloney is. Akala lang nila because she was helping me, because she was just right there, tapos ganong ganong Tapos we set up for a dinner, we set up for a nice trip. Akala kasi ng mga iba, ganun lang. Okay. So ngayon, dahil nobody else knew about Cloney kung ano ba talaga, sino ba talaga itong si Cloney at that time. So, I would like to take this opportunity na sabihin din kung sino talaga si Cloney sa buhay ko. Marami akong natutunan sa kanya bilang anak. Kung ano man yung hinahanap kong katangian ng isang anak, sinobrahan pa niya. And that was also the reason I was here because I was looking for a family because my own family nawala na. Pero kung ano man ang nagiging alitan namin, naging sigalot namin, that is out of this topic at this point. Okay? So ngayon, dahil sa pinakita sa akin ng clone kung sino talaga siya, and that's when I realized, sabi ko, sige, kalimutan ko muna ang lahat. Kalimutan ko muna ang mundo. 
and then I have to close my eyes para isipin talaga kung sino si Cloney. Kasi, para sa akin nun, masyado siyang abstract. And she knew it. Masyado siyang abstract. Hindi ko makumpasan kung ano ang totoong Cloney at this point. Because all I know was, pumasok siya sa buhay ko para ilayo ang lahat o kaya i-control ako. But that wasn't the case here. Kung ano yung hinahanap ko bilang anak, that was the only time when I realized na nung nakita ko siya in person, that was when after meeting Darling Jimenez. At alam ni Darling, alam ni Darling na at that time, I wasn't even ready to go and meet anybody else. Nasa labas na kami. I wasn't even ready to go and meet her kasi nasa labas na kami. So, meaning, nakadamit pantulog na ako at that time because wala akong balak na lumabas. Because all we wanted was to go to Mercury para meron kaming rebel here. So, after Darling Jimenez, and then that's when I realized na si Cloney, she just came from the hospital dahil nga, sa kinagat siya ng kanyang pusa and then nakita ko yung mga sugat-sugat niya at ipinote niya doon. So, I didn't have any choice. Iisipin ko pa ba kung anong itsura ko at that time? Iisipin ko pa ba kung at that time ay nakadamit pantulog ako? As soon as she cried over the phone and she said, Mommy, I just came from the hospital and here I am, nag-iisa po ako, wala akong kasama dito, Mommy, ganun ganyan. And I said, Dear, right now, I am, I am on the way to your place. Please let me know kung saan ka. And then I went there. That was after midnight. Alam ni Lord na yon Because right by that time, Lorna was on the phone talking to me. At alam din ni Darling yon Because right that, after I came from Cloney, di ba dumating ako, gumawa ako ng video. Just to let everybody know na I just came from, from Cloney. Dahil, by the time she needed my comfort, alam ni Lorna yon at alam ni Darling. Yun ang paraan bakit kami nagkita. It wasn't as, it wasn't as in na kailangan pang, Mami, why don't we meet there? Tapos nagpaganda pa ako because I wanted to show her na ako talaga si Mystica. No. Ang nakita ni Cloney at that point is a real mother who would be there who would be there in time of an emergency. At di ba sabi ko sa inyo, I am your mother in time of your difficulty, in time that you need a mother, a kapatid, a lola, and I would be there. So ginampanan ko yung role ko bilang mother. And that's when she realized that a mystica is capable of being a mother to her. Okay. Sa ganong paraan kami nagkakilala ni Cloney. Then everything was history. Nagkaroon na kami ng very very deep relationship bilang mother and daughter. Na napakasakit nga naman na dahil lang sa naging alitan namin between her and Lorna and all of a sudden it ended just right there. And that was the reason why I said before New Year kailangan kailangan magkaayusan na kami. At kung sakali man na nagsinungaling siya kay Jill or anybody else especially to Jill dahil I know how Jill how she connected to Cloney as a real friend and I really appreciated that and I know how she connected to Jill and I really appreciated that and I know then how Christine connected to Lorna and I really appreciated that so everybody was hurt because of my wrong decision, isang pagkakamaling decision, and then everybody got affected, and I feel sorry for it. Okay. 
And that was the reason why I said, kung pinatawad ako ni Cloney, bakit hindi ako patawarin ng kung sino-sinong involved dito? Most especially kay Chill, kay Lorna, and of course kay Christine. Kasi dito nga nag-turn yung story eh. Kung hindi dahil sa pagtalikod ko kay Cloney and then Chill got in to her wall para i-protect si Cloney and then Jill and then the rest. Okay? And then of course by the time na nasaktan ko na rin si Lorna and then that's when Christine came in to protect Lorna. Okay, fine. And I all understand that eh. Dahil ako nakakaintindi ako bilang ina. Lahat may pinagsimulan. There was a cause and there was an effect. Okay? Pero bilang ina, since okay na kami ni Cloney, and then that's when I realized that hindi ba pwedeng i-stop na ito? So sabi niya, Mommy, it will. All you have to do is shut up. Okay. So I said, fine. So klinose down ko na yung aking main Ruby Cassidy account. Okay? Because kahit man, tinanggal ko yung video when I was really very hyper saying all the things that I wanted to tell Cloney. And I'm sure na lahat na rin ay nakita niyo yun. And that was the reason why when I knew na it was time to close that. Diba? Enough ko yun. But, after that, meron pa rin yung mga iba't ibang mga post most puzzle na hanggang sa natabunan na ng kung ano-anong mga sumunod, 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 sumunod. Okay. And that was also the reason why I said, okay. Kasi hindi ko na mabili ka niya. Sa sobrang dami na hindi ko na alam eh. So the only way would be para hindi na rin ako magpagos is to close down that. So, wala na yun. So ngayon, dahil sa everybody has judged her kung bakit bumalik pa siya sa akin. And of course, I was hurt. Pero, in spite of I was hurt, in spite of marami nang dumating na mga issues against her, so I said, I am sorry mm. if this is the price of you getting back to me. Pero knowing naman na wholehearted kung ano yung paghingis ko sa yun ang tawad, and then full heart din yung pagtanggap mo ulit sa akin, especially with my apology, and then I said, I am sorry, Anna. Because this is the price of being with Mystica. Pero it went out of control noong dumating na si Cloney, ano, what I'm saying is, noong dumating na si Mohini, and then, that triggered me kung bakit I wanted to put everybody in court. Okay. So ngayon, at first, I thought na, wow, finally, I got a hero here. Okay? Akala ko, nagkaroon ako ng hero because she provided me all the evidence. At sabi ko, now, I have a very strong case right here. But, it doesn't have to end there. Dahil, I am so glad din na ipinakita rin ng lahat kung sino si Mohini sa akin. Alright. And now I know the truth. As much as gusto kong ituloy ito, And the fact na alam ko na kung sino ang nag-cause and lahat ay affected. Therefore, I decided 
to give you my decision right now. So at this point, ang sa akin lang naman mga anak. Just like I said, I was ready because I had all the evidence. I was ready. And like I said, I don't care anymore kung kanino nang galing, kung sino ganun. I don't care anymore if what was the cause and what was the effect. All I know is, I have all the evidence against me. And I have already gathered all this. It didn't matter if I had to spend my 24 hours para lang ma-screenshot ko. From the post until all those comments. At iniisa-isa ko doon. At alam nyo ba kung bakit pinospo-postpone ko ang pag-post doon? Because pinanaig ko pa ang puso ko. Ang daming nag-antay na mga lawyers. But, I said, this is my show and let me handle and let me decide when I am ready. So ngayon, tumawag si Christine. At bago pa niya nasabi kung sino at kung kanino nang galing ang mga gulong ito. I know already. Nagbasa ako eh. But it's because I treat everybody as my own daughters and my own son and my own family. It doesn't matter anymore kung kanino nang galing, sino, sino ang mga involved dito. At this point, paiiralin ko ang puso ko bilang ina. All I want right now is isang click lang. Yung pinagdusahan ko ng ilang days, ilang nights na nawala sa akin lahat pati mga friends ko dahil magmula noong binigyan lahat ng messages ang mga friends ko doon sa kabilang account ko. I have lost everybody. Pati lahat yung mga supporters sa akin, most especially, doon sa mga sponsors ko, lahat ay nawala na rin yun. That was the effect. And that's how I suffered. That's why, kanina nung sinabi ko, napuno na. Napuno na yung pasensya ko. And I was ready. But because of Christine, and because of Cloney, and because of Jill, and because of Lorna, At kung sino-sino pa ang mga involved dito na itinuring ko na rin mga bahagi ng buhay ko. Isa lang naman ang hinihiling ko eh. Live Cloney and me. Sana naman ipaubayo nyo na i-enjoy yung buhay namin bilang mag-ina. And at the same time, kung ano rin yung na-start ko na feeling ko sa inyo bilang mga anak ko, let's continue. 
because life life is a wonderful thing to cherish kung may freedom ka hindi yung nandun kami nag enjoy kami bilang mag-ina but then there are people who are against us I know how it felt to be betrayed and I understand that I know how it felt kung ano yung ginugol yung oras para sa kanya and I realized na talagang you were such great friends of Cloney because of what you did to her and I give everybody a credit for that at kung ano yung pagtatanggol nyo sa kanya I give everybody a credit of that na I am so thankful na yung itinuring kong sarili kong anak nagkaroon siya ng mga friends na katulad ninyo that you would do everything in order to protect her So ngayon, instead sana na yung galit ko ay pananatilihin ko. Okay, instead sana na ipupush ko yung laban ko since I got all the evidence already against everybody who are involved here. But, bilang ina, I am going to stop. As long as you are going to stop that is tam is come alert by mystica and I'm going to stop everything that I have posted here including my own page na yung bago ngayon kung saan ko dapat ilagay lahat ng evidences ko and by the way mohini stop I have seen and I have read everything. So kung ano man kung ano man ang dahilan mo then stop. Okay? Stop right there. Okay. Sabi dito ni Sabi dito ni Christine, sabi niya, Mami, walang gulo kung itong si Mohini din ang nag-create ng evidence. Okay? Kasi everything was already okay eh. With me and Cloney, everything was okay. And I'm sure naman when I have read kung ano yung mga nabanggit mo, si special ko ano yung nabanggit ni ni ano ni ni Jill, Jill Cruz, Jillian. And that's when I realized na ang mga ito hindi naman ito yung mga tao bigla na lang susulpot doon para siraan ako. Or dahil sa kumampi na sa akin si Cloney and then bigla na lang din sing aatake. So there is always a legitimate reason why everybody has to react. Dahil kahit ang isang hayop, pag pre-novo, then magre-react. So meaning to say, may pinag pinagsimula ng lahat. Okay? And I understand that. So since ngayon, itong si Christine, she is triggered also sa ginawa ni Mohini dahil kahit, kahit sa ang anggulo mo tingnan naging traidor din si Mohini
And if you are a real friend of somebody, you don't have to be a traitor to that person, no matter what. Kung talagang real friend ka. On the other hand, inappreciate ko, of course, kung ano ginawa ni Mohini sa akin because without her giving me all the informations, it's either good evidence or real evidence or fake evidence And that was the reason why I said I had a complete, complete case right here. At bahala na ang korte ng mag-determine what is going on. Okay? So ngayon, I'm not even sure if Mohini is right here watching right now. All I can say is, Mohini, bilang ina. All I want to say is, is stop. Because reading all the evidences against you, which is nakafile na sa akin, pati yung pagpunta mo kay Cloney, lahat pala yun, ay nakaset up. So if you're not going to stop right now, if you're not going to close that page right now, ako ng kalaban mo. Para magkaayos na tayong lahat. All I'm saying is, let's start all over. Kung ano man yung binitawan kong salita, isa lang eh. Because I know that everybody has a family right here. Ako wala na akong family. And I don't care anymore kung sino ang masasaktan kundi ako lang when it comes to my own family and of course since naman na naituring ko na si Cloney bilang family ko na rin at sarili ko ng anak yan and she is involved here masasaktan din siya and just like what I said before sa una kong live na oras na ang kasong ito ay nakarating sa korte, it doesn't matter anymore kung merong isang mamamatay. Because once it's already in court, hindi ko na pwedeng bawiin yun. Kasi, oras na pinagbigyan ko yung isa, I have to do that for everybody. Otherwise, that would be unfair. At yun ang nangyari noon sa case ng mag seven movie writers and three editors na it didn't matter anymore kung alam kong may cancer yung isang editor at lumuhod siya sa akin sa korte because she said ibigay mo na lang sa akin yung natitirang buhay ko para magkaroon naman ako ng katahimikan bago ako mamatay pero ang rason is, if I had to do that at that time, at hindi pa natatapos yung case ko, I said, I have to do that to everybody. So, if I would decide to push this through, kasama siya. Hanggang sa namatay nga siya. Pinagsisihan ko yun. But it was too late. At iyon ang ayaw na ayaw ko nang maulit because once that this case is gonna be on that court, alam niyo naman ang proseso sa court, eh, it will take two years. And I was willing to do that. And I was willing to do it all over again for I.I. Kasi si I.I. ang nagdemanda sa akin dahil this was a case between her son and my son. Hindi pa ako involved. Prinotektahan ko lang ang sarili ko 
and at the same time, ang anak ko. Ako, yung kinasuhan ng 20 million libel, pero, kinanter afi David ko siya. Dinoble ko. Dahil, kung ano yung evidence niya at that time, five times yung evidence ko na nakafile na. Three times hindi siya sumipot sa korte. So, anong nangyari? I won the case. <laughs> But, kinakailangan pa bang abutin ito sa ganong paraan? Sa ganong proseso that we have to spend the rest of our lives for two years? Maraming involved dito. Maraming tao masasaktan. Hindi lang kung sino-sino nandoon, kundi pati ang pamilya mo. Pamilya nyo. Doesn't matter anymore about me because I have... No family. That's why when I was out with Cloney, hindi na kinakailangang antayin ko pa pumunta ng korte. Hindi na paaabutin doon. So when Christine called me, I was with Cloney, nasa car kami. So I told Cloney, now that I talked to Christine, and then I've already told her, all it takes is just one click. So, akala nga ni Cloney, ano yun? Akala niya, sabi ko, you know me, sabi ko, pag may stress ako, you know me, akala niya, ha? akala niya, bigla, big, bigyan lang ako ng KFC, and then my stress will be over. And I said, no, that's not what I mean. Mas malalim pa doon ang ibig kong sabihin. This is about a serious thing. All it takes is just one click. I shut down lang yung scam alert by Mystica page and everything will be over. I will close down everything right here, including kung ano yung page na ginawa ko, and I will tell Mohini that if she's going to continue that page too, then ako na mismo ang makakalaban niya. Yun lang mga anak, ang kondisyon ko para magbago na lahat ang buhay natin. All it takes is just one click. And I assure you, everything is over. Wala nang stress. Let's be all happy. Kasi yun lang naman ang gusto ko, ba? That was also the reason why I came here para i-continue kung anong mas pinili kong profession or career. Because nandun yung puso ko, it's no longer entertainment anymore. Bilang nag split Because I wanted to show a different part of me na kaya kong ishare hanggat nabubuhay pa ako. And I hope that everybody is going to know who really Cloney is. And I hope everybody will know who really Mystica is. Dahil magmula ngayon, mga anak, kung ano man yung nagiging agwat natin bilang family na na-start natin dati, let's start all over. Okay? Please. Ngayon, Kung sino pa yung mga hindi nakakarating ngayon, once again, I am sure na makikita rin nila ito. And please, post this at your page. Okay? Kahit one week or whatever. Para kung sakali man, yung mga tao na hindi pa nakakakita, and then makita nila. Because I know na marami pa yung hindi nakakaalam kung ano yung nagiging decision ko. Especially now. Okay. So go ahead. Take this video to your page for one week. And sana naman, oras na meron pang magbash, sana naman protektahan nyo rin ang sarili nyong ina. Because I already consider everybody as my own daughters, as my own sons, as my own family. And once again, 
kung sino yung nasaktan ko, inuulit ko. I'm sorry. And please forgive me. At kung ano rin ang kasalanan ko sa Diyos, dahil I know na marami rin nasaktan kung ano yung lahat mga pangyayaring ito, then I will say, Lord, please forgive me. Tao lang ako. In Jesus' name, Amen.